was run by a little old lady too. I don't know. But we've played the Bay Area a lot in yeah. those days. So that was Did you play with him at that time at all, Mark? Or? He was playing in colors. So this was seventy four yeah, you were I was playing in colors at that time, but I did play with Camp Mother some of that stuff down it. Freight, yeah, Freight and Salvage. Freight and Salvage, yeah, played there, played some stuff in uh, in the yeah. in Bur Bay he Area. Played stuff. at the recording session with um, what's John, it, Johnny, Johnny Winter. Winter. Johnny Winter? Did they tell you that? Story? No, nobody's told oh, me yeah, that story. Yeah, yeah. What's okay? So, yeah. so hey, Mark had invited me to play with the band a couple of times. We had a lot of fun. Don't know about you guys, you want to tell it? Well, it's just. The recording studio where stuff was going on, and it just happened to be between it, and there was Johnny Winter with his, you know, that crazy guitar that he had, you know, and here I'm standing here with my harmonicas, and the tape was rolling, and I can't remember who else was playing. So, but yeah. I, we played, man. <laughs> Bob calls me up. He's in San Francisco. He said, We're doing a single. We've got the A side. The B side's going to be a jam session. Bring your drums, get your ass down here right away. And we were at Wally Hyder. That's it. Yeah. Really yeah. nice studio. Yeah. I walk in, and there Johnny Winter comes walking in behind me. And um, he's all dressed in black with that black yeah. slouch hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked just like a vampire. Yeah, man. I swear to God. Very I pale. had a bottle of brandy. I ordered him a drink. He chuckled, shook his head. No alcohol. Whoa. Yeah, so we're playing away, yeah. we're jamming our asses off live in the studio. Everybody playing, Johnny's playing, Charlie, everybody, oh, yeah. and Charlie Pritchard, yeah, yeah, and you. And we played for like half an hour at least, yeah, 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 yeah. just kept playing and playing. Yeah, 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 good. And Johnny gets starts nodding, you know, he had a bit of a habit at that time. He starts nodding, and he lays down on the floor on his back with the guitar. Do you remember this? Absolutely. I can see it. He lays down on the floor with the guitar, and he goes to sleep in the middle of all of us playing away. And he looked like he had died. I swear to God, he looked just like he was dead. And he was like that for maybe 10 minutes. And then he opens his eyes, and he starts to <laughs> And I was just cracking up. I was trying to keep playing. I was laughing so hard. So I was that a, a cat mother session? A recording session for a single or something? For a single. I don't remember what the A side was. Did it ever come out? It was on the number three album. The cat mother album. But the B side was not. Neither the A side nor the B side. Oh. Polydor at that point was starting to lose interest. Some promotion of that, but that was my Mark and I had a good time and had recorded. So when what was when was that? Do you think you guys what, what period was that? I had just started playing with him, so it's got to be seventy one. Yeah. And and again, I know you explained it, but why why was Johnny there? Was he just happened to be in the studio doing friends another session? Charlie Pritchard. Oh, friends of Charlie's. They were tight from Austin, but Johnny would show up from time to time.
Oh.